So to the best of my ability, I'm going to try to explain how the bard actually works. So right off the bat, the basic attack is this little shotgun type blast. And if you actually put on the class gem, which let's see, it is the bard has increased attack range and bard song effectiveness. So what was once the little shotgun blast is now a little bit of a longer range attack, which is pretty nice. So... The main gimmick of the bard is when you use your ultimate, you will see this little thing at the bottom, this bar. The blue bar is slowly going down, but I'll explain that a little bit later. So, when you have this activated, you will see a bunch of icons appear above your head. So, each icon corresponds to an ability that you must do to actually raise your melody. As you can see, we have a total of 15 melodies, and there are two bigger rectangles, and... Once you reach those bigger rectangles, you will actually get a damage increase. I'm not exactly sure what the damage amount is. I think the uh, I think the second big rectangle is like 650% increase to your basic attack, which I assume is a pretty nice increase. So anyway, so the game wants me to use my right click. Now right click again, and let's see use my one ability so basically like i said you just do what the game wants you to do this icon is just basic attack i know a lot of people were actually confused about that and as you can see the more i do this the more melody i actually get so when you use your ultimate you spend five melody i think each ultimate is five melody but yeah we had the blue melody which i believe this is the or blue ultimate i guess which i believe is the healing ability thanks to nickstar i have an image to a uh i have an image showing you what abilities you actually get depending on what melody you actually have because it's not actually random you have a specific ultimate you have access to depending on what melody you have so if you look at the image the first two are green Next two are blue, next ones are red, the next one after that is purple, green, blue, red, purple, green, blue, red, and red. Now, I took the liberty of adding the icons to the uh, above the colors to make it easier to actually understand what ultimate that actually is supposed to be relating to. And I'll just go ahead and show you right now that it's actually correct it's not random indeed so if i do one action it's still the green according to this list the next one i do which is left click let's see is blue next one i get which is dodge should be blue yes it is the next action that i perform will be red which it is again red next one is purple that's correct next one is green correct next one is blue which is right, then the next one should be red, back to purple, and then green, uh, blue, and then both red and red. So as you can see from the, uh, wrong one, uh, as you can see from the icons changing, it is actually a set thing based on what melody you actually have, so it's not RNG like I thought it was. So as you can see, I'm approaching the first damage buff. So this is the first damage buff you get. So I'm going to keep on working towards my second damage buff. So two more. So right click, uh, one ability. So this is my final damage buff, which I believe is the 650% magic damage per basic, which not sure how good that actually is, you know, relative to like other classes. So I am nearing my max melody, as you can see I need one more. So the way that you refill your bar is you have to use your ultimate which reduces your melody by 5. Use one and then use your ult again. Because if you look at the graph, the, your 11th melody will always be the riff ability, which is the ability that you have to use to restore the blue bar. I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but try not to use Epic Riff when the bar is as full as it is now, because I think it's actually scaling, where if I used it now, it wouldn't actually fill the bar. But yeah, I have full melody. I, 
From what I know, your melody will not actually drain in this state. Maybe if you do like a wrong command, like let's see, if I just like shift here. Okay, it does not. So I don't think your melody will actually drain. So okay, the bar is down, so use my ultimate, reduce your 5 melody, use, uh, do another action just to get the 11, use it again. And as you can see, this is how you maintain your damage stacks. So that's pretty much it. The only issue... I don't know if you would really call it an issue, but if you are speed farming with this character, you will never have max damage stacks. You will never even have a single damage stack because you will always be at like one, no, one melody. So if I just like sh quickly just use my alt here. So what I use for this guy is zealous because you will be using a lot of energy and while you are in midair, you will not actually regain energy, so you pretty much have to use Zealous. And then I use Trailblazing, or Arcane, whatever you want to use. So what you do is you use your ultimate, and then you use your ultimate again for the movement speed buff. You use Zealous for the uh, energy back, and basically when it's off cooldown, you do it again. And this is pretty much how you're, you know, maintaining speed. Now, for me personally, it's 170 or uh, 176. That's not actually including, you know, buffs like Pyro Disc and, you know, killing an enemy with this ally and, you know, Vampirian Vanquisher gems and all that. So, yeah, you just keep doing this and that's basically how you maintain it. So, I'm not sure if this is like a bug or if this is intentional, but the Chromatic Emblem does not actually work on this character. Let me actually show you. So I'm pressing, like, I'm using a flask and the cooldown's not actually resetting, so I'm not sure, again, if that's just a bug or if that's an intentional design. But, pretty weird. Uh, you could use things like this that reduce the, uh, cooldown by 7%. You could also use, let me just see, chromatic, which reduces by 25, so as you can see, if I just do this, like, look how quickly it's going down. So by the time this runs out, you can basically already use your movement speed again. So if you wanted to do it this way, which I wouldn't really recommend because you, you would be losing, like, what, 15% speed? Yeah, you would, well, I don't know how much speed it actually is, but you would be losing out on movement speed. So I'm not sure if you want to do that. Before I forget, let me actually tell you what each thing does. So this is Epic Riff, which I believe I mentioned. This is the starter ability, basically. You have to keep on casting this specific ability in order to actually maintain your buffs. Or melody, I mean. So it starts the Bard Song buff and adds one to melody. So this specific Epic Riff always gives you one melody, which is pretty nice. So if the player uses the ability that matches the icon while it's active, they will gain melody, which I pretty much already explained. Next one is Jubilant Song, I believe that's how that's pronounced. Causes nearby allies to dance and gain increased movement speed and max energy. Max energy, I mean, whatever I guess, but yeah, if you're speed farming, this is the ability that you're constantly using. So if I were to do the abilities that are above my head, so dash right now, dash again, and we are at the blue ones, which is Peaceful Song, so heals, uh, eh. <laughs> heals nearby allies and buffs them with life gain when, de when dealing damage for a short time. Additionally, applies stun to nearby enemies, removes 5 melody when used. So yeah, I believe all of these abilities just remove 5 melody. You don't actually need 5 melody to use it, as you saw with my uh, uh, speed farming. It'll just use as many melodies as you have. I don't think that reduces the time, like, I don't know how it works, but anyway, now we have this ability, which is the battle song, which triggers an explosion around the bar dealing damage to nearby enemies and temporarily redirects aggro to the player for a short duration. So buffs nearby allies to gain increased attack speed and critical hit damage, it removes 5 melody when used. So yeah, all these just remove 5 melody. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, if you want to maintain the uh, all your damage stacks, just make sure your melody is all the way at 15. Use your battle song to reduce your melody by 5. And then do one more action. And then you will usually... Well, you should have Epic Riff. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Epic Riff will only appear at Melody 7 and 11. 
Melody 11 just so happens to be the second, well, I guess third if you're considering the first one, you know, the third big rectangle. So you get your melody all the way up to 15, use your, uh, use your alt to drain 5 melody, and then I believe you use one more, like you do one more action that it wants you to do, and then you'll have epic riff again. So you use epic riff, and then you just keep your stacks going. Sorry if that didn't make any sense, I'm really, really bad at explaining things, but I try to explain things to the best of my ability. So anyway, if you guys found this at least somewhat helpful, a like would be appreciated, you don't have to obviously, and I will be going now, so see you guys later, and hopefully this wasn't too confusing.